we're back home now. Um, you guys would have seen. <laughs> you guys would have seen uh, Gabriel at McDonald's. I thought that I had. Um, I had you know five bucks, and I thought it would be fun to just take him, get a happy meal, let him run around a little bit. Um, because tomorrow's his first day of school, and we're not gonna be. Um, really spending the whole entire day together so I was like okay I'll just take him and we'll hang out for a little bit and let him run around um, and McDonald's giving these really cool things um, they're like watches and they keep track of your kids steps which I think that that's really awesome I was like man I want one of those looks cool um, and then they have the, um, they're like these really neat colors like neon colors there's purple orange and all kinds of colors they're squeaking because they hear me talking. Yeah, we're home. We're home. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick what we got um, as in groceries. I did put milk away because obviously um, milk needs to go in the fridge. So that's not going to be out in this haul. Um, and then I will show you guys the cereal that we got also for um, this week. So let's get to it. So we got celery. We got three of the ground turkey. These are lean. I like using these. We have plain breadcrumbs. We got ricotta cheese. We've got um, buttermilk pancakes. I've never tried this brand. I really like getting the wheat ones, but they were just too pricey today at Winko, so I was just like, you know what? No. Um, so I went with this one. I will let you guys know if I like it. I also got some Popeye spinach. I got some little sausage, the eight count. I got some corn, this is four count. I got grapes, seedless. These were on sale, the Tropicana Twisters. These were like a dollar something. These were also on sale, they were like a dollar something, so I got three boxes of those. I got some peaches or nectarines, I think those are the nectarines. Um, and then I got some bread, I got two of the wheat and then I got sourdough because I'm gonna try a new recipe this week and it calls for sourdough bread. I got some bananas, lettuce, and two mangoes. I got some taco seasoning, mild, less sodium. And I got some apples, I got some uh, spaghetti sauce. I got some tomatoes, I got some uh, Virginia style ham, I got some cheese, these were on sale also, I got strawberries, eggs, these were also on sale, um, they were two bucks for, um, for 18, so I didn't think that that was too bad because the other one was, um, two dollars for the dozen, so I went ahead and went for the bigger one, and then I got some butter, um, let me show you guys the other butter I got. I really liked it, um, but this one was a better price this time around, and you get more, so I just went ahead and got the bigger one. Um, but the other brand of butter that I got was this one, which I really like, the canola oil one. Um, I like it because it's supposed to be healthier for you, and also um, you can use a lot less of this and it seems like you're using a whole bunch and I really like the taste so I am gonna try to keep going with this butter um, but it was just kinda more expensive today and I was just like you know what I'll just get the other one you get more um, you get more butter for it so uh, I really liked this one though I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a different kind of butter to try um, and also I recommend the olive oil mayonnaise I really like it and um, and I use this on all of our sandwiches. So, yeah. Um, and that's what's up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the faux refrigerator. Oh, and there's the milk that I got today. <laughs> Little overview of all of the groceries. Now i got to put it away. So I'm done. Dinner is finished. I made um, corn and ground turkey. Um, a sort of meatloaf. Uh... But I was making it in like muffin tins, um, so it kind of fell apart in the end. I think I made it too moist, um, so next time I have to do it a little bit more firm, maybe. And then I made red ma red potato mashed potatoes. So it's red potatoes, I made mash out of it, so that's what it looks like. And it's actually pretty good. Um, 
It's my first time making the this recipe in the meatloaf kind of thing. Um, but I think it's pretty good. So that's what's up for dinner tonight. Um, I kind of wanted to just talk real quick. Um, I'm sorry, my hair is absolutely crazy. I was, I was really tired, but I didn't, couldn't take a nap. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to say real quick. I'm, I think I just, I'm having so much feels right now. I'm having intense butterflies because Gabriel starts school tomorrow. And I'm just like, oh, just, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to expect. Um... I'm nervous about like how he's gonna act and just so I'm just nervous I'm nervous that I'm not gonna get there on time I'm nervous that um, just I don't know I'm just nervous I'm excited but I'm really nervous like I literally feel that feeling of straight-up butterflies like my stomach is in knots <laughs> um, so wish me luck uh, you guys will see this after I've already experienced everything, so you will know how everything went. But I am genuinely super nervous. And I don't even know if I'm going to put him in a uniform for the first day, or if I kind of just want him to look, you know, nicely dressed. I'm obviously going to take him a shower. I need a shower. Um, I want us to feel and look our best uh, for day one. And after that, you know, if we don't, it's not that big of a deal. But for that first day, you just you want to show all the efforts um, so yeah I'm really nervous um, I want to show you guys I wanted to be surprised the hubby does not know but I attempted today to make um, mangoneadas or chamangos uh, that's what it looks like and I'm surprised honestly how easy it is um, so I'm really excited to try those and I hope he likes them Mango is a, a success. It's like, well, this one's the one that had the least amount, but it's a success. Looks good. Look at all the pe the pieces of mango. Say grandma. Grandma. Oh, you look so handsome. Oh, I look at you. You look so handsome. Smile for the camera. I raised it. It does. I would say cheese with grandma. Take a picture of grandma. Over there. Right Go close to Grandma. Hey. Say cheese. Look over here. I your mom. Okay, and we're gonna pray for you so that you God will bless you. Grandma used to pray pray for your mommy. I'm gonna uh, thank you, Jesus, for my little grandson. Bless him today. Bless him, and may he have a wonderful and blessed day. Amen. 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 Woo!
That's okay. We're gonna get up. we're gonna get our real ones tomorrow. We just have our, our temporary ones. It's okay. <sighs> okay, let's talk, guys. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to stay with him today, and they literally basically just kicked us out. <laughs> um, I understand that he needs to get used to it and whatnot. It just breaks my heart, though. Like, he's just like, Mom, Mom, and he's, like, clinging to me like if, like, if you, something bad's gonna happen. And I'm just like, nothing, it's, you're gonna be fine, everything's gonna be okay. And, and he's adorable. I mean, he's over there, like, teach her this and teach her that, and it's really sweet. And I just hope that, you know, like, he gets into it. Um, and, and he even wrote his name, well, you know, like, scribbled and... Uh, I'm really, like, I'm, I'm so sad right now. It's just, like, it's like they took a chunk of my heart and we're just, like, yank, this is ours. And I'm just, like, mm. so, um, I'm gonna come back for him later, but I'm just really just bummed out right now because it's just, like, but I want to be with you. And... It's okay. It's just the first day. Um, but yeah, this week they do not want us staying with them at all. Hey, Vic. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Gabriel. Bye. Hey, guys. So, we are home. Um, I don't remember what the last clip you would have seen would have been. Probably us at McDonald's. Um, I really wanted... I called my husband and I told him I really wanted to, um take like a little bunch of balloons to Gabriel's school and give them to him just so he knows how proud we are that he was a big boy and that he was brave and that he spent the whole day without either his mom or dad and that he did good. Um, and literally everywhere that I was going that was close by had no balloons like I'm just like why does nobody sell balloons around a school area hello people kids like balloons I like balloons so nobody had balloons and I I literally was just my heart was just so sad um, and also I've never experienced feeling so sad without Gabriel because I had spent so much time telling him like it's gonna be okay, I'm gonna be with you at school, and then they're just like, no. And, oh, just, you have no idea how sad I spent my time just cleaning, which is productive, but it was more just so that I could be distracted and not cry. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that I will do better tomorrow because he did great, like, he was a trooper. He did tell me that he, he did cry in class. He's like, Mommy, I cried in class. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And, um, but he also did tell me that he had pizza for lunch and, um, that he went potty by himself and, uh, that he watched a really cool movie and, um, just, I mean, he told me all these things and that made me feel good. So it kind of was like, okay, I, I guess I can just struggle for four hours just so that he can make friends and so he can learn and things like that. And plus, it's not always going to be like that where I'm going to be home um, basically cleaning um, because I'm going to start school also this month, which I'm really not excited about going back to school. <laughs> Um, but I do need to do it. It's the grown-up thing to do. I gotta get it done. I have two more classes. Two more classes to take and then I'm finished with what I needed to do. Um, and I'll have my, like, credentials that I need in order to get a good school job. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, and right now Gabriel is actually knocked out. We both knocked out. 
Um, I think he was definitely tired out. Like he, uh, he had an awesome day at school, and then he went to um, McDonald's. Like I had to settle to take him to McDonald's, um, which I really didn't want to do because I didn't feel like taking him two times out of the week to McDonald's. It just it just feels gross because you're eating, you know, food that's not great for you. Um, but once I saw him, like, running around and playing with the kids that were there and stuff like that, it made me feel good, too, because it was like, cool, he hasn't been home all day trapped in our house. He's actually been out of the house and learning and doing things, you know? Um, so it made me feel good. Uh, so I, we went there, and my husband's going to be coming home soon, and he's going to get Gabriel a surprise also as... Um, that he's proud of Gabriel too. We wanted to do something together, but it's kind of hard because it was like, I wanted to greet Gabriel and tell him like, I'm super proud of you, I missed you like crazy. And, um, but my husband also, he's feeling the feels as well. He's like, oh, my, my big boy now. And it's just kind of like, we're both kind of in that feel of like, he's growing up and it's like, mm. um. So yeah, and right now I'm going to start making dinner. I have another new recipe that I'm going to try today. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using some sourdough bread. Focus. There it is, sourdough bread. I'm also going to be using some ricotta cheese. And it is actually um, fat free. We're also going to be using some Parmesan cheese, which I had at home already. And I'm going to be using some Monterey Jack cheese. I'm going to be using some butter, whichever butter you have is just fine. Some spaghetti sauce, whatever you'd like. Some spinach. I have parsley flakes and of course pepper and some salt. And that's all we're going to need for this new recipe that I'm going to be trying out. is all tucked out from school. Look at it, we so cute. Second day of school. Good morning, guys. It is, I was going to say Tuesday, but it's Thursday. Um, day two of Gabriel going to school. Today was a lot more challenging than yesterday. Yesterday was challenging in the sense of how they kind of yanked us apart. Today was a challenge to get him out of the car and get him to class. He did not want to go. He did not want to stay. Um, which, after I had picked him up yesterday, I thought he was going to be perfectly fine today and everything was going to go cool. Um... But that just wasn't the case. Um, but, I mean, I know that he has to learn to kind of be without me and things like that. But it's like, maybe I'm not ready for that. Um, anyway, uh, I, I think it's going to be good for him. Yesterday, he was talking to me like like he was a lot older. Like, it just, I was like really shocked about how he was talking to me. And I was like really surprised about how he was saying what he had for lunch and you know things like that um and and I'm just I'm hoping that next week I can stay with him uh not every day but I will I will like to stay with him to see what exactly he does every day today was a lot harder for me um I just, I don't like that part where they just, like, force, forcibly, like, just yank us apart from each other. Um, it just, it breaks my heart because it's like, he's just sad, you know what I mean? And it's just really hard. But, 
at least today I have something to do. I don't have to try to distract myself with dishes and picking up my house. Today I have um, a doctor's appointment, which I'm really not even sure what's going to happen today. I don't know if I have ultrasound. I don't know what's going on doctor's appointment-wise. Um, most likely they're going to make me pee in a cup and then take blood from me. <laughs> So that'll be fun. Um, but the good thing is doctor's office always takes a long time. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit um, I just wanted to share how I was feeling day two I will insert a little picture of what Gabriel was wearing for day number two um, And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye Brought myself a little snack your name tag wow that is so cool I like it guys it is Friday last day of Gabriel going to school this week um I think today was worse than Wednesday, his first day of school. Um, today, he did not want to even leave the house. He didn't want to get in the car. He didn't want to get off the car. Um, he was just, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And I felt so bad. I'm just trying to like, it's okay. You're going to have a good time. And you guys are going to do fun things. And it's, you know, trying to make him excited when in reality all he's thinking is you're gonna leave me here for four hours I don't want to be without you and when it's like you have to try to be strong or whatever for them you want them to think you know you're you know you're gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine but at the same time inside it's just like I'm just like I want to just hug him and break him home and I, I can't do that so it, it was really hard for me today, and I'm, I know it was hard for him. Um, there was, like, the first little few minutes where they let us um, sit down with them while they get everybody in. Um, so I, you know, I always like to take advantage of that. Uh, and today I was excited for him because they actually put his little picture on his little name tag and it was like laminated and it was very nice and even in his little cubby it has this little picture and it's just really sweet and I I got his attention in that way and he got excited and I was like wow look at your new name tag oh wow you took a picture you look so handsome and I was like really you know getting all excited for him and with him and then he was kind of like, you, you, you guys will see, I'll insert that clip of it. Um, but he was really excited at that moment, thinking like, oh, I'm so cool, because I got a new name tag, and my mom thinks I'm awesome. F me. And it took everything in me not to say like, no, I'm going to stay, or like, I'm taking him home, forget this. You know, like, it's just so hard. Like, he doesn't know how sad it makes me feel. And I just come home to an empty house and literally it's just like mm. yesterday I didn't wash my dishes so that I would have something to do to distract myself when I got home like that is just how sad it is um, and I think also baby pregnancy has a lot to do with how he's reacting and acting right now because I, I think he's excited about the baby but at the same time a little bit jealous because uh, he does say like oh you know he'll tell people like mommy has has my brother in her stomach and I mean we don't know the gender yet or anything like that but he he assumes it's a boy <laughs> and he says you know mommy's holding my brother and I have you know he has a sibling like he'll see other little kids playing with their brother or sister and he wants them to know like I'm not alone I have a brother too you know and it's really sweet 
but then he's very clingy like he just wants to be all over me he tells me I love you so much and and I love it but I just feel like he's saying or acting like that out of you know maybe being a little jealous so it's just it's been a lot <laughs> and I feel like this vlog has been a lot um it's been pretty long but it's been a long week. Uh, yeah, it's like I just want to spend time with him and I just want to be hugging him and holding him and like, I missed you. <laughs> um, so it's been pretty tough, but we'll see how next week goes. I do plan on going and checking, because I really want to see what it is that they do all day. You know, like I really want to see how he is doing um, and kind of just sit back and observe him, but be there and tell him, like, it's cool, dude, you know, you can do what you gotta do, I'm right here, I just wanna watch, you know, and, um, and that kind of thing, so, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna keep going at it, I, I just want him to be strong and independent and know, like, and still know that I'm there for him whenever and anytime, any second of the day, anytime, I'm here, like, don't ever think that you don't have me, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard for me to find that balance, but we'll get there. Um, and yesterday I started to work on another little hat. I'm doing a panda hat. So I finished the outside of it. I'm working on the eyes right now. It's really soft, this little like um, material. And the little ears, and I'm working on the eyes right now. So, that's what's up right now. <sighs> I hope you guys had an awesome week and that you guys are going to have an awesome weekend. I think I'm going to end Friday's vlog right now. Um, I mean, the week vlog. And then start our weekend vlog, like, right after this. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm sorry if this vlog was very long and emotional and chatty. I was very chatty, but I was just, this week has just been full of the feels. So, I'm sorry, but sometimes that's just how life is, especially right now with all the, like, pregnancy hormones. Um, but anyways... I hope you guys liked what you watched, and if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget the thumbs up button, and subscribe if you have not already and you'd like to. Also, leave your channel names down below if you'd like me to go check out your channel, and we could do a sub for sub, we can become friends, all that good stuff. Um, also, before I go, I want to break some exciting news. I have four more weeks until we find out what we're having, so stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to know. Um, and if you'd like to, you could leave your gender prediction in the description box. I would love to see what uh, you guys are thinking in the comments, not the description box, in the comments. <laughs> leave your uh, gender prediction in the comments. I'd love to see. Out of all the things I've been saying and talking about and my bump dates, I would like to know what do you guys think we're having, a boy or a girl? And any name suggestions would be awesome. Um, I actually had, sorry, I'm going to keep rambling on, but I actually had filmed a, the video with that 10 names that we liked but didn't use, and for some reason that footage got lost, like half of it is gone. I have no idea, so I might have to refilm that. Um, maybe I'll refilm it right now after I'm done with this. So, that's it. Love you guys. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Like our next video. Bye, guys.